network. As part of an annual campaign initiated by the International Telecommunications Union, ITU, E-Business Live Communications Limited hosts Young Girls in its 2023 edition of International Girls in ICT Day. The event which took place in Lagos has a team, Digital Skills for Life, to sensitize and encourage young women and girls to delve into ICT and STEM, which has been dominated by the male gender. Speaking at the event is the Director of Research and Development, Alaji Ishmael Adedigba, who represented the EVC and CEO of NCC, Professor Omar Dambata. In his keynote address, support and underscores the importance of the event and threw more light on the need to groom girls for the future. According to the Chief Executive Officer of eBusiness Life Communication and convener of the event, Mrs. Ufoma Inukedaro, the need to sensitize young girls is premised on the fact that society has unconsciously regulated the female gender and delicated careers in technical fields, especially in ICT, to their male counterpart. In her words, about 22% of the industry workforce and efforts have been made on the global scale towards having 40% of women in tech positioned in the next 10 to 5 years. ICT events, you have mostly men and just a few women, particularly to speak or to discuss issues in the industry. And I began to wonder why is it so? And then, interestingly, I stumbled on the fact that even the International Telecommunications Union was concerned. So it means it was not a personal thing for me, rather a global thing. And so they began this uh, initiative, a campaign to uh, encourage young girls to take up careers in ICT. And I decided to latch on it and to begin to do that same campaign in Nigeria, which we started in 2012. And since then, it's been growing and growing and growing. And there are testimonies of girls who have actually begun. Many of them are outside the country now studying courses in technology and I just am grateful to God for it. The event had in attendance NCC representative, GLOW, ING and among others with about 16 schools represented such as Baptist Girls School, Obanikoro, Klami High School, Grace High School, Bagada Lagos, Breakthrough Akute, Lagoon School and more with participants engaging in quiz competition, roundtable discussion, and other presentations. Some of the students share their excitement about the event. It's, they give me hope that girls of, that, that the future will be brighter for girls because I've seen a lot of things where, like a lot of videos where like girls are, like I see the gender gap. I see situations whereby girls are treated less than men. There have been a lot of gender empowerment process and events like this like that are made for empowering girls. They just give me a lot of hope and they put a smile on my face. It means a whole lot, especially knowing the background, where we were coming from, because we know that there was very little exposure to ICT and now like it's, it's becoming very normal for people to have gadgets, have access to internet, use the internet wisely. So it means a lot to me that especially girls are able to have these opportunities to use gadgets and go into ICT, even as careers. For more on well-researched and balanced stories, events and interviews across business, tech innovation and lifestyle, please like, share and subscribe to this channel, www.youtube.com slash digivationnetwork.